end of the first round, here are the scores. St. John's School has 10 points. <laughs> Abetifi Presby Senior High School has 10 points. St. Augustine's College has 13 points. the Trasta AI Speed Race. The Speed Race is sponsored by Trasta AI, your real-world experience. Okay, so in this round, I'm going to be presenting you with questions at the same time. For an opportunity to answer a question, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell, St. John's? Thank you. Yours, Abetifi Presby. Thank you. And yours, St. Augustine's College. Thank you. If you ring and answer correctly, and it's the first attempt at the question, you get three points. If it's the second attempt at the question, you get two points. And if it's the third attempt at the question, you get a point. But please be careful, because if you attempt to answer a question and you are unsuccessful, you lose one point. Now, from the time you are called upon to answer the question, and by the way, if you ring the bell and you don't raise your hand, I will call the school generally. That is considered a call. You have three seconds within that time to start or to present an answer. If you don't, you will hear a bell. When you hear that bell, what it means is that you have lost the opportunity to present an answer. You've been bailed out. And whatever you are saying at that time is your answer, which is likely to be a wrong answer. So please, when you get the opportunity to answer a question, go straight to the point. I do not need your preambles. Do not repeat the question to me. Don't call me madam. I know I am madam. Don't say we have. I know you have. Straight to the point. Answer. That's all. Please, is that okay? For questions that require calculations, you will have up to 30 seconds to present that answer. If there are no calculations, you have the usual 10 seconds. Best wishes, everyone. First question, 10 seconds. Give three major electrical characteristics of an ideal operational amplifier. All right, so many possibilities. I was asking for three of them. So infinite loop, if infinite open loop gain, infinite input impedance or zero input current, zero output impedance, infinite bandwidth, zero input offset voltage, infinite common mode rejection ratio, infinite slew rate, infinite power supply rejection ra ratio, Zero noise. Any three of these would have been fine. All right, next one, 30 seconds. The wave number for copper K alpha radiation is 4.078 per angstrom. Find the energy in electron volts of a copper K alpha photon. The right answer is 8.047 kilo electron volts. Next one, 30 seconds. Find the electromagnetic force on a 3.0 nanocoulomb particle of velocity 
4.0i kilometer per second in a region where the electric field is 16J volt per meter and the magnetic flux density is 1.5J milli Tesla. Yes, Gafaru. Negative 18 by 10 exponent. Negative 6 K Newton. That's incorrect. St. Augustine's. Go ahead. Negative 1.8 key and this plus 48 G all in nano newtons repeat negative 1.8 K plus 48 G all in nano newtons that's incorrect uh. Did you ring? Go ahead. 48 nano J plus 18 nano K, all in Newton. Again? 48 nano J plus 18 nano K, all in Newton. It's the way you are presenting. I don't think I can accept it. I can't accept it. <laughs> 48 nano K. No, that's not a, the formal way of saying it. The right answer, listen to the right answer. 48 J plus 18 K nano Newtons. The unit is nanonewton. Mm -hmm. Next time, organize yourself well. Next set, 30 seconds. Solve for N given N permutation 4 is equal to 8 multiplying N permutation 3. Yes, a bit of fee. N is equal to 11. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Solve the logarithmic equation. Log to the base 2 of the expression x minus 3 plus log to the base 2 of the expression x plus 3 is equal to 4. Yes. X is equal to 5. Yes. Decompose into partial fractions. 12x over the expression x squared minus 4x minus 12. Yes. Ooh, Go ahead. A fraction with the numerator of x minus, x minus, minus 6. And then a denominator of 3 plus another fraction with the numerator of x plus 2 and the denominator of negative 3. Repeat. A fraction with the numerator of x minus 6. And That's incorrect. Who rang next? Yes, I bet if he... A fraction with numerator negative 3 denominator x plus 
to this whole fraction plus another fraction with a numerator of 9 and a denominator of x minus 6. That's incorrect. Um, yes. Go fraction, ahead, St. John's. A fraction with a numerator of 3 and denominator x plus 2. That plus a fraction with another numerator of 9 and denominator x minus 6. That's the right one. Next set, 10 seconds. Name the principle that predicts how gene frequency will be transmitted. Yes, go bet. The Hardy-Wembers principle. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Apart from sugars, Name two categories of organic compounds that are transported by phloem. Okay, I was expecting two out of these three or four. Amino acids, hormones, proteins, RNA molecules. Okay? So in addition to sugar, that is what phloem is carrying. All right. Next one. Name the main genetic material of organisms, the main carrier of genetic material of organisms, and the main location of eukaryotic genetic material of organisms. Yes, Sabetifi. So the main carrier of the, this is the gene, and then the location in eukaryotic cell is within the nucleus. That is, is within a membrane-bounded organ, in the which is the nucleus, and then and then and then the genetic material is the DNA. I'm not accepting. Did anyone else ring? Okay. So, three answers in this order. The first question, the answer is DNA, then chromosomes, and then in the nucleus. And you had to get all three of them correct because we are in the speed race. All right. Last set of questions, 30 seconds each. A piece of copper with a density of 8.90 gram per centimeter cubed and a mass of 2.67 gram is put into a cylindrical container holding 20.0 centimeter cubed of water. The container has a cross-sectional area of 2.00 centimeters squared. By how much? That means the height. Will the water level rise in the cylinder. Yes, Nana Benny. Zero point. One, five, zero centimeters. You are right. <laughs> Given that the standard enthalpy of formation of propyl benzene is negative 6,120 kilojoule per mole, calculate the enthalpy change when 1.50 gram of this hydrocarbon is formed.
Yes, St. Augustine's. Go ahead. 7.65 by 10 raised to an exponent of 4 kilojoules of energy is released. That's incorrect. Who rang next? Yes, uh, St. John's. Neg negative 76.0 kilojoules. That's incorrect. Ah, you're misplacing your things everywhere. Anyway, the right answer is negative 76.5 kilojoules. Last one for the round. An isotope of iodine has a half-life of 2.60 hours. What mass of an 89.6 milligram sample will remain after 20? Okay, go ahead. We have 1.12 by... 10 to an exponent of 1 milligrams. That's incorrect. I continue. After 20.8 hours. St. John's. 3.50 grams. That's incorrect. Ah, this one is painful. It's 0 0.350 gram or 3.50 times 10 to the power negative 1 gram. And that's the end of the second round.